This is not the only guy that's in trouble this week. There's this other guy that, I mean, he's dead. Um, uh, but I love the way the news positioned this man, right? This was the guy that, uh, the family nine later we talked about. Oh, uh, Brian fucking Walsh. This, the, the, there's, there, well, we got two. Oh, this is a different guy. We got Brian guy? Walsh. This is Michael Haight. Michael Haight oh, is yes. the guy from Utah. So yes, yes, he yes. Uh, murdered his wife and his five children and then himself, right? Because he said the, he didn't want to get divorced and he got fired from his job. And uh, that's dumb, right? You don't do that. You just figure out your shit and you move on, right? But there was a private obituary, now private. But there was an obituary that had come out that read about him. It's like, you know, he got roasted hard because everyone said, because the first thing it said was that, he was a dedicated family man. This is in the obituary for the man that killed himself after killing his whole family. Right. And that he, there's nothing that Micah loved more than, in, than, he enjoy, than making memories with his family. Right. Well, I mean, I guess he made like a permanent memory for him, for no one, for the rest of us, for himself. Um, but maybe. that's not the only one. There was because there was a bunch of other he, there was a bunch of other obituaries on that Southern Utah one. And there's a guy I want to one. There's one I want to read from a guy whose first name I'm just going to read is Glade. Yeah, this, you know that this. You bring up a very solid point. Truth and obituaries but, need to start being a thing because yeah, I'm just when just I was a at my, little bit of truth. All of it. Because when I was at my grandmother's funeral, and I love my grandmother, she was the one who would hide all the gin because she wanted to lure the men into her room so yeah, that she yeah, could oh, yes, yes, do yes. God knows what she wanted to do with them before she broke their hearts. The woman, oh, Lillian, she loved. All she did was love. Her nickname for my little brother, Michael, was Squirrel because she hated squirrels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was, was a, a woman. mean woman. She, she yeah, was I had the same thing as well. A mean grandmother. Yeah. But it's like, but also, like, I love that they were mean because that's all I know about grandmothers is that they're supposed to be kind of Yeah, yeah they're all mean. mean. Yeah, they're It's cool. kind of funny because they're old and dying. And you're yeah, like, yeah, fuck yeah, you, yeah. grandma. Yeah, sure, you know, sure, sure, sure. Can... But in the meantime, it'd be nice to feel love. Yeah, but that's the, my, my mom loved me. That's my, nice. My mom could have used love. Because she's deeply traumatized. We're we're deep in the weeds of your family. Yeah, no, that's today. That's just today. <laughs> mm-hmm. that, this is fucking day twenty four of dry January. I feel it. I feel it radiating from you. <sighs> Don't sleep I without just, whiskey. I feel it. We got to figure out another way to do it. Jumping jacks. No, we got to get you know a treadmill. Is? I have been. I have been jumping. <laughs> to, for what? Doing what? That isn't a jump. You can't. The audience can't see the the Patreon subscribers I'm can sitting. see what they call a jump. I'm yeah, sitting. He mostly just looked like he was having a heart attack. <laughs> How do you exercise? Anyway, what I'm saying is truth and obituaries. You can also, you can do that. Like we when, can. When, when Pat Buchanan, who we just found out retired today, even though I thought he was dead forever. I, yeah. Let's I, get an honest obituary when he dies. I mean, it would be. I would love to read. I'll write one. Sure. Anyway, let's um, move on. But this is this obituary. Just this one section of this man named Glade I found. <laughs> During his childhood, as the only boy his age, Glade went to school with eight girls, but he only had eyes for his second grade teacher. So he asked her on a date. Every day after school, he'd clean nearly 400 eggs, earning money from those that were cracked, recently admitting some may have broken accidentally on purpose. He often shared stories about topping sugar beets, hand-settling bowling pins, hitching rides to the movies, ice skating on the pond, Playing ball. When did he die? 13, very recently. No, yeah, no, he just died. He just so died. he's just a it's weird very, kid. He's very old. He's a weird kid who I hits just, on a second grade teacher who cleans, cleans eggs, eggs after class. I just think that's a nice obituary. You see, again, I don't know what else Glade did. I don't know what other crimes Glade might have been. Yeah, because that of. has to. So they they stopped his obituary and he was a no, good it's pages, in second grade. It's very like it seems nice. He he was a nice man. He, he served in the war and shit like that. But he was. Uh, it does seem. I just love cleaning eggs. Well, and to your point, uh, this is according to uh, at Shannon Watts on Twitter. In the Michael Hate obituary, they say, quote, Michael made it a point to spend quality time with each and every one of his children. Yeah, it's just, Michael it's enjoyed just making crazy. memories with the family. No word on eggs. No word on eggs. No word no, on um, eggs. Well, well that's see, a, oh. this is, um, that's, at some point, I get it. You whitewash me a little bit. You, you know, just you, ask for full transparency. No, you know. well, no, I'll you take full. Like, honestly, again, it will be fun. Not, it will be fun. People will be like, whoa, that's fun. Um, that's illegal. Well, but it won't be. I'm fine. We we'll give it a little scrub. You know, yeah, do sure, a little scrub. Sure, 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 on it, sure, you know, sure. yeah. I'll get a zhuzh. I'll get a writer. In he there. smelled amazing. Stuff like that. Yeah, you know, yeah, just sure. zhuzh. Yeah, zhuzh, yeah, zhuzh, yeah. Zhuzh, yeah. Um, but when you kill your whole family, I mean, it really does dampen the funeral. 
Because then they say uh, each of these children were truly a cherished miracle to them, but they weren't. They were not to him. No, he, he, killed, he killed them. Not to him. No, he killed the whole family and then himself. Yeah. Um. So he. They also say he lived a life of service. Yeah, it's just really interesting to see and they how all, quickly they threw up. Because again, it's this Mormon thing where, on some level, they want to keep up appearances like hardcore because they are out of like a, almost a sense of it seems of propriety, right? Like, oh, he's like, well, we don't want to slam him. We don't want to be roasting him while he's dead. Meanwhile, he, well, he killed, killed everyone. Whole, he killed, he killed everybody. Where it's like, I, I just want to message that this is the time to roast him. Like, this is the time to come for him because yeah. he uh, he obviously had a lot of other ideas in his mind. He wasn't the man you thought he was. This, And I guess that a lot of people have, I, I think, a lot of times, hard times coming to terms with it. That that guy that well, you knew and loved actually wasn't that guy. I guess it only takes a couple of hours to kill your family, but it takes a lifetime to build a reputation. <laughs> it really does. And so also for his mission, because as Henry mentioned, he's Mormon, he got to go to Brazil. Oh. Much better than the characters of Book and Mormon. Yes. So we got to go see the butts of Brazil, which to be frank, if you do come back and you're still Mormon, you really love Joseph Smith. You, I mean. Because Brazil, I've heard, is a is beautiful. Place. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful big, b- big butts and having a great time and everybody's just loving life and you got the, you got the, they're, they're, you know, it's free and you, you can live your life. Yeah, Go to Brazil. Um, also, they say that uh, he loved going to concerts that he attended at his children's I just, school. It just doesn't make any and, sense. Uh, you don't the, need to include all of these things. This is my favorite part. He says they they say he loves doing home improvement projects, sledding, and much more. So he did do a lot of sledding as well. So they were able to to squeeze that in there. You Does know, that mean like is that like that. with cocaine? No, no that's skiing. That's called that's co- skiing. Yeah, yeah, that's the code for that. Um, yeah, and then they, they close it out with he recently <laughs> sold his business to allow more flexibility. To spend time with his family. So I'm going to say maybe he should have kept the business. I uh, think that he is a piece of shit and a murderer. And you just need to say that. Why? Be like, he this was is a ridiculous. Father, and now he's a dead father. And then the. Mo- oh, oh, well, the- that's the whole thing. Also, people think that it's like a whole thing to just like. Technically, you, you could shit out a bunch of kids. It's, you, you don't get an award for it from the government. You know what I mean? Well, you do. Well, sometimes you used to. You guess, you no, you definitely, get, okay. you definitely get an award from the government for having children. You do? Well, move I, on. I, move I, on. Our, all our friends. I don't know. I haven't seen no, the money show up. It. I haven't seen the money show up. Um, <laughs> talk about if you want to make sure you got to deal with some kids, right? You got a bunch of extra kids. Um, you take them to a kite festival. No, bro. Don't do this. Because this story, I don't know what in the living fuck is going on at this kite festival. Dude, this I is the kite it, festival. Kites, right? The thing that kids kites. used to do before they played Planning. Minecraft. Yes. This is in India, right? This is a place called, it's called the Gujarat Festival. Okay. I have no idea what the fuck happened. Three children among six dead from kite strings slicing their throats in India. In this festival. So it's a kite festival. There's six people dead total. Three of them being kids. There's 46 Injuries at a <laughs> kite festival. No, there's what is uh, happening with these kites? Uh, Are we using garrot wire? Well, that's kind of what they say. Yeah, authorities say there's been 176 people injured due to cuts and falls during the annual Utarian it's, Festival, which put, took place over the past weekend. My question to you, Sue, do you just run with the kite? I don't know, but the people that were killed, it's very its very sad. So the sharp strings included one of the people that were killed. It included one toddler who was riding with his father on a bike when they became entangled in a string. So they're literally just biking. Look at this kite. And then so they get a- attacked by these by frivolous things. Did you see the documentary Act of Killing? Yeah. Do you remember oh, they would yes. kill everyone with the piano wires? Yeah, that was very fucked up. Yeah, of course. And I feel like that's kind of what this is. But why, why are they using piano wires? I don't think that they were. I th- police said that 30 people sustained cuts. 46 were injured when they fell from fall from they when they fell from heights while flying kites. Thousands take part in this festival every year. I had no idea that this was dangerous. I thought you put a kite up there and then you watch it. I never fully understood the organic drone that is a kite. I never really got into kiting. I don't understand the pull of kiting. I don't really understand. I mean, my main thing is that's why I kind of cut off using barbed wire for my kites because I was really (laughs) sick of it. Um, A lot of times it just sticks in and then you're stuck with the guy. 
I love the and cactus you gotta go, jack. Yeah, yeah. you got it. It's so difficult, but just the idea of like a kite slit in your fucking throat. How fast? Let me say this. How fast does a kite go? Well, it's got to get right through the, artil- uh, the artillery. Artillery. The, ar- the, the artillery. All right. bit, a, the artery there. Well, so. that's kite borders. No. How fast is a kite? Not on a twin tip. No, you guys are all acting like people are. No, I'm asking how much does that? How much wind does it take to fly a kite? Is this four to ten miles per hour for a wind to fly? Oh, a, kite? a small amount of wind. That's but all. You could fart a kite. How fast can it be? Sure, you put your, your your kite is put together correctly, or it may not fly six to fifteen mil, six to fifteen miles per hour. Damn, I guess yeah, that can just slit your throat. Yeah, I think if you got to find. Also, I don't know what the protocol is in India, but here we just use little twine. They may have used like a fishing line. Well, I guess if it's you like, use a fishing line, that'll slice you up real nice. Uh, is, there, is there like industrial kites? Is they have? I, that? I looked at a picture of. It looked like they were basic ass four by whatever kites. Yeah, I, don't I just think don't know why big. are we do, why are we using all of it? It's like a, an episode. I feel like this is Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it, it definitely put a hamper on the weekend. Well, um, yeah, especially when you have all these kites and then this splashing of blood everywhere, yeah. which is just like, I guess it's the last thing you expect, or maybe it's the first thing you expect, and people straight up were like, yeah, you're going to want to come out. We have a bet on who's the first son who's going to die. Like, And they're just so excited to see, oh, yeah, oh, you better watch out with uh, with Tenjamin over there. He's got a fucking long neck. Yeah, Those you know- kites are thirsty for him. Well, it's kind of interesting is this isn't the first time. No, it's not the first time. Apparently in 2016, two youngsters also died from sustaining kite injuries. Kite injuries? I didn't know that. I I didn't know that was a thing. No, I really didn't know that was a thing either. I I don't want to die via kite. Also, if I was there in India, in, in this town... I, I wouldn't go to this. It's it seems one like place, there's too much. There seems like the odds are just a little too high. It's actually more dangerous to go to a kite festival than to play football. It seems like it. I think football is actually technically, yeah, obviously CTE is the slow death of the mind. And then some, of course, do get it, but you can combine it now with medication. Um, I would say hockey. Do you ever see when the goalie were, got? Do you ever see when the goalie oh, got? Oh yeah, got his neck sliced. That was scary, bro. Yeah, that was fucking sweet. But yeah, that's like that, that that's was not sweet, Henry Zabrowski. It's not sweet, but you're it's a cool. goalie. You can say it. Yeah, exactly. Because again, it's hockey.